organisms need food, water and oxygen for survival. They need to be transported to all parts of the body. For this, animals have developed circulatory system for the transport of gases, glucose, amino acids, fatty acids, salts and hormones. The respiratory gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide are transported from respiratory organs to tissues and from tissues to respiratory organs through circulatory system. The simple organic substances such as amino acids, glucose and fatty acids which are absorbed into blood from digestive system will also be transported to tissues for energy assimilation. Several waste materials formed by oxidation of food in the cells will be collected and transported to various organs for disposal. Hormones secreted by endocrine glands should be transported from site of secretion to the target organ through blood circulation. After knowing about the importance of transport system, now let us study how the transport system or the circulatory system has evolved or developed during evolution of species. In unicellular animals, transport of substances is by simple diffusion. In multicellular animals, all the required substances could not be transported to all the cells by diffusion due to complicated structure. So, they have developed a transport system in which special fluids like blood and lymph are meant for the transport of substances. These fluids are pumped and kept in circulation by the muscles in lower animals. But in higher animals, a specialized organ, heart has been evolved for the efficient pumping of blood as well as for efficient transport of substances. Blood in some animals is found in large spaces of the body cavity and directly comes in contact with tissues known as the open type of circulation, seen in cockroach. Later, animals have developed special channels for the circulation of these fluids such as veins and arteries with circulatory system consisting of blood, blood vessels and heart. Let us study the circulation of blood in different organisms. Circulatory system has undergone drastic evolutionary change in vertebrates due to structural changes in heart. The heart is two chambered that is one auricle and one ventricle in fishes that is the primitive vertebrates which evolved into three chambered heart in amphibians, two auricles and one ventricle and in reptiles three chambered with two auricles and one incompletely divided ventricle and finally into four chambered heart that is two auricles and two ventricles seen in birds and mammals. The heart is two chambered that is one auricle and one ventricle in fishes that is the primitive vertebrates which evolved into three chambered heart in amphibians two auricles and one ventricle and in reptiles three chambered with two auricles and one incompletely divided ventricle and finally into four chambered heart that is two auricles and two ventricles seen in birds and mammals. In primitive vertebrates like fishes, blood is sent from heart to respiratory parts and then to body parts. Here the blood is entering the heart only once hence is called as single circuit and since gills are used for oxygenation of blood, it is said to be as branchial circulation. In higher animals, amphibians to mammals, blood from heart is sent to lungs and from lungs it is sent back to heart. From heart, it is pumped to body organs. So, it is called as double circuit circulation and the heart is pulmonary heart. Let us study about the circulation of blood in each of these organisms. First, fishes. The heart is two chambered and consists of one auricle and one ventricle. Heart collects the deoxygenated blood from different organs through two cable veins. These cable veins open into a chamber called as sinus venosus. 
from sinus venosus the impure blood first enters into auricle and from auricle blood enters into the ventricle from ventricle blood is sent to gills through blood vessels for oxygenation the blood gets oxygenated in gills and is supplied to different organs of the body in fishes blood passes through heart only once in one complete circulation of blood hence the circulation in fishes is called as single circuit circulation the heart in fishes pumps blood into gills where bronchial respiration occurs hence is called as a bronchial heart or a venous heart and the circulation is said to be as bronchial circulation amphibians in amphibians heart is made up of three chambers two auricles and one ventricle auricles are side by side and are separated by a muscular wall ventricle is behind the auricles the deoxygenated blood from the body parts is collected into three large cable veins called as the vena cava veins or the cable veins these veins unite to form a structure called sinus venosus this opens into the right auricle the right auricle functions as a center for the collection of deoxygenated blood the left auricle receives oxygenated blood from the lungs through pulmonary vein both the auricles open into the ventricle auricles contract and the blood is pumped into the ventricle the deoxygenated and the oxygenated blood mix in the ventricle the ventricle contracts and the blood is pumped into a large artery called aorta and the mixed blood is distributed to all parts of the body including the lungs the heart that pumps blood to lungs for oxygenation is called as pulmonary heart in frog and in higher animals blood passes twice through the heart once between heart and lungs and second time from heart to body parts such a circulation is called double circulation and the heart is called as double circuit heart reptiles reptiles like lizards and snakes have two auricles and one ventricle in their heart the ventricle is incompletely divided into two chambers so it is an incompletely divided four chambered heart the circulation is double circulation and the heart is a pulmonary heart apes and mammals in birds and mammals the heart is completely divided into four chambers with two auricles and two ventricles sinus venosus is absent cable veins open directly into right auricle from right auricle blood flows into right ventricle and then it is pumped to lungs for oxygenation the heart is a pulmonary heart and the circulation is double circulation oxygenated blood enters into the left auricle from the lungs and flows into the left ventricle the left ventricle pumps blood to all other parts of the body through aortic arches this type of circulatory system in human beings is the most advanced